Hey guys, please where can I find salt? Salt? Uh, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Got it. Jesus says you are the salt of the earth i have several sizes of cups here this is one size another size another size another size another size each of them representing people from all walks of life uh people who are different than us people with different levels of assimilation people with different levels of experience different people of different age age brackets, people of different uh, backgrounds, people of different mentalities and philosophies, different kind of people out there in the world out there. Now let's imagine that we have soup in this cup and soup in this and soup in this and soup in this, different sizes and levels of food or soup. What matters right now is not how much salt I have, what matters is what matters is how much salt each of them needs so i may have this much salt but it doesn't count for much as long as this is all i have to salt hmm. i hope that's making sense to somebody i have this much salt but it doesn't really matter that i have this much salt what matters right now is this little guy here how much salt do I have to put in it to add flavor to it? How much salt do I have to apply to add value to it? And then next is this guy. How much salt do I have to add to add value to him? And then next is this guy. How much salt do I have to add? Definitely, he, this is going to need more salt than this. But this is going to need less salt than this guy here. So it's not how much salt I have, it's how much salt is needed in the soup. If I approach it with how much salt I have and I add too much salt, I try to add too much salt and just do it the way I like, even though it's a nice soup, it's been every ingredient is complete, I make it distasteful. All we need to do is just add as much salt as is needed or else the the soup is distasteful and undesirable friends with friends where the spouses spouse and the uh, and their partners mentors and proteges believers and unbelievers they, they cannot receive all the things you learned in 20 years just all at once how possible is that you're gonna have to be patient you need patience just a pinch of salt at a time you add value one at a time a pinch of salt at a time you cannot add all the values you are going to add to their lives all at once colossians 4 6 says let your speech be always with grace seasoned with salt that you may know how you ought to answer each and every one. That's in the King James Version. Another version says, Your speech should always be pleasant and interesting, and you should know how to give the right answer to everyone. That's a good news translation. 
Another translation says, let your language be always seasoned with the salt of grace. I like that expression, the salt of grace. So that you may know how to add or to give every man a feeding answer. That's from the Weymouth translation. My goodness. Many times in the process of growing up, we acquire a lot of knowledge, we acquire a lot of information and until we reach the point where we forget what it means to not know what we know. It's becoming a common saying, maybe you haven't heard it, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. The first thing people want to know is how much you care, not before they begin to care how much you know. So in order to increase our capacity, you need more spoon sizes for your salt. The salt needs what? It needs spoon sizes, several sizes of spoons. So once again, look at this. Several cups here with each of their own needs. I as the salt, I as the man, one who is to provide the salt have I have to have this several spoons in my capacity the problem is that many of us lack the right tools the right sizes of spoons for the right for the appropriate people that's the problem we lack the appropriate spoon size for appropriate people <laughs> so, if I'm going to increase my capacity, I have to increase my spoon sizes. I have to increase my spoon sizes. I cannot be a one spoon guy. If I'm a one spoon guy, if this is the size, it means if I'm a one spoon size, I'm going to be able to only reach one kind of people. Maybe this guy. Or let's assume it's this is the only spoon I have. I'm probably going to be able to reach this guy. And that's all. That's why the knowledge gap is. So if I'm going to be able to reach more people, I got to increase my spoon sizes. You need more spoons. You need more spoon sizes. The more sizes of spoons you have, the more people you have capacity for. The more situations you have capacity for, the more situations you have capacity for, the more wisdom to dish out wisdom. Wisdom is one thing. The wisdom to dish out wisdom, to impact wisdom is another. Having wisdom is one thing. The wisdom to impact wisdom into other people is another. What you need is more spoon sizes. You need to enlarge your capacity. You need to build more capacity. There are people you don't yet have the skills to reach. That's why you can't seem to reach them yet. Maybe you are using the wrong size spoon. Maybe you're using the wrong spoon sizes. Maybe you're using the wrong spoon sizes. The more sizes you have, the more types of people you are able to reach. So if I'm going to be able to increase my capacity, I've got to be able to increase my spoon set. So this is, this is, a, 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 this is a tablespoon right here. So this is a tablespoon right here. No matter who you are, whether you're a teacher or a mentor or a father or a husband or a spouse or an employee or an employer, you need more spoons get more spoons get yourself more spoons get yourself more spoon sizes you're gonna need them as you go forward in your career you're gonna need more spoon sizes as you go forward in your in endeavor you're gonna need more spoon sizes as you go forward in your marriage if you're married you're gonna need more spoon sizes if you're not married uh, you're gonna need more spoon sizes for marriage <laughs> Yes, if, if you are going to grow in anything at all, in parenting, you're going to need more spoon sizes. This is, this is a spoon, this is a tablespoon. Yeah, this is one tablespoon. This is a half tablespoon. You can see this is smaller than this. And this is an eighth. 
this is a this is a fourth so this is a one tablespoon half a fourth of a tablespoon so you need this for a fourth tablespoon people you need this for a half tablespoon people I'm, when I when I come meet when I meet somebody and it's a tablespoon person, then I'm gonna pull out this. This is how I'm gonna relate with this person. Next time I meet a person, it's a half it's an it's a it's a half tablespoon pe- person. I'm gonna pull out this, and then I'm gonna relate with them with this tool. Next time I meet a a, a fourth of a tablespoon person, I'm gonna pull out this. And I'm going to relate with them based on this. And then when I meet other people, I'm going to... Now, I still have a problem. I still have a problem because I only have a, a, a tablespoon and a half and a, and a quarter and a fourth. I'm still going to need an eighth of a tablespoon to my, to my tool set. I'm still going to need a sixteenth for 16th people. I'm going to need a 32nd if it exists for 32nd people. No matter where you are, no matter where what what level you are, you need to increase your capacity. You're gonna have to increase your capacity. And guess what? Quite honestly, there are people that this is what they need. And if you don't have this, you're not going to be able to relate at their level. Do you understand what I'm talking about? So you need several spoon sizes ranging from this to this, to this to this. To this and to everything in between this and this. (laughs) My goodness. Paul said, "I, I became all things to all men that I might save some. What a phenomenal statement. What an amazing thing to say. He said, I became all things to all men that I might save some. So for the Jew, I became like a Jew. For the Greek, I became like a Greek. For the Samaritan, I became like a Samaritan. That I might be able to reach them. Hmm. Many of us are too Greek to be able to reach the Jews. Some of us are too, some of us are too Jewish to be able to reach the Samaritans. Some of us are too Samaritans to be able to reach the Romans. <laughs> we need to put off our Samaritan head sometimes and be a Roman. Sometimes we need to put off our Roman cap and be a Samaritan. Sometimes we need to put off our church cap and relate with people where they are. Or else we can't get them to church. If all we ever speak is Christianese, we need to learn the language of, of that the people out there understand. Daniel understood the language of Babylon. He spoke Jewish and he spoke the Babylonian language. That's why he was able to be relevant at the court of kings, seven, four kings, uh, Darius, Cyrus, uh, um, Nebuchadnezzar, and Belshazzar. He served under four regimes in not in his own country, in a foreign country where they were slaves because he was outstanding. My goodness, because he was outstanding, he was able to be relevant to different kings at different times in a strange land. How much more capacity can a man have? If we're going to have impact, if we're going to be relevant in the times we're in, we need more capacity.